Hi, back again to finish your reading, Sami, for today. Your second reading, which was more about career, and was a 15-card spread as opposed to another Celtic. Okay. And uh, your significator obviously is the same. Still Prince of Discs, and I've already shuffled, and so let's give it a go. So on the bottom, as you can see, is the Lovers to start. <coughs> and this one, <laughs> with these cards, I'm going to do my best here to fit all of this in. table is not exactly clear, but I'm sure many tarot readers would be yelling at me right now that my space is too cluttered, which is accurate, but it's the kind of person I am, cluttered and slightly disorganized. <laughs> Okay, so each section uh, is as follows. The center section is uh, about you in uh, at the at current time. Uh, over here we have psychological influences, and over here we have karmic influences. So I kind of tend to look at these as uh, hidden internal uh, influences that are shaping the situation, and hidden external situation uh, aspects that are affecting the situation. Also, uh, sort of what spirit is trying to lead you towards, uh, or what, uh, what, what the universe is trying to get you, is trying to lead you towards through fate or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> and let's see, okay, and then over here is your uh, most likely outcome if you continue to follow the path that you're, uh, that you're taking now. And over here is a potentially uh, opposite or um, alternative choice. Sometimes, uh, However, it can be just a continuation of the stuff over here if the meanings are similar enough. <clears throat> okay, now uh, to clarify your question was that you were working on some paintings for your portfolio, which I thought was really cool, and you wanted to know how pursuing uh, an artistic career would go for you. So uh, from the get-go, I think that you know you, you have... <laughs> it, it sort of matches your previous reading a little bit. You know, you have a very productive, uh, a very creative energy about you. Um, you have a really good way of getting ideas from your imagination and putting them into reality. Um, and I think that's really valuable as, as someone who's trying to be an artist. You know, uh, you have the Knight of Wands in, in the center here and aspected by the Knight of Discs and the Moon. And so, I, for me, I don't see the Moon as a bad card in that place. You know, you could see the Moon as, as bad, but I really don't, I think, considering what we're talking about here. And it's aspected pretty well here by the Knight of Discs, I think, because the Knight of Discs is grounding whatever, you know, weird, supernaturally... Um, illusionary stuff is represented by the moon um, or whatever whatever uh, darkness can be uh, churned up by the imagination uh, it, it's grounded really well by the Knight of Discs and and it's inspired and productive or made productive by the Knight of Wands so you have a really good thing going here I think with the night the two knights and the moon um, I see you as having a real creative burst right now and really benefiting from whatever uh, whatever reflection you're doing right now, whatever personal reflection you're doing. And, um, you know, it may be that, that there is an aspect of that that you are perhaps weary of or um, not necessarily sure of. But again, in your previous reading too, you know, or like your previous reading, I think it's important for you to trust that more. Um, as as long as you're able to keep it grounded like this, I think that this is really good energy for you uh, in your work. Now, psychologically, it seems to me that you psychologically, I think you still see yourself as having a lot of growing to do. And I think possibly you are concerned about 
rushing into things without necessarily being prepared for them. Uh, and, and the reason I get that is just the Princess of Discs and the Seven of Discs are so strong there. And the Knight of Swords, which is what you have, uh, seems a lot more aggressive than that. And elementally does want to break that little duo up there. And so I, I don't see the Knight of Swords as necessarily a great thing there. Um, I see him as, as sort of reckless, whereas psychologically I think you... So I, I, I think you see yourself as, yeah, still being a student of this to some extent and still um, sort of in the process of developing maybe a personal style or develop just developing technique in general. You know, I think that you, I, at the same time, I think that you see yourself as having potential to grow, um, but at the same time feeling like it isn't necessarily it might not necessarily be coming easily to you uh, because the Seven of Discs does tell me that there is this feeling that you have of um, working really hard and not necessarily getting far with it uh, or feeling like the work you're putting into it is paying off very slowly. Uh, it's just, it's coming slowly. And at the same time, the Knight of Swords is all about, you know, things not moving slowly and doesn't want things to move slowly at all and pushes for things and agitates things into action, stirs them into action. And so I feel like, I, I don't know, it, what's, what is interesting too is that you have all four knights in your reading, which I just noticed, which is kind of cool. And, you know, traditionally we might say that that represents a lot of uh, a lot of willpower here at least that's how I would you know think of that is that you have a lot of a lot of creative willpower here running through your reading uh, that's really quite strong um, however the Knight of Swords down here is um, in some ways destabilizing uh, but I think you know I, I don't I don't think that the Knight of Swords is necessarily so catastrophic as to derail you in any way. Um, I want to come back to that. Karmically, you have the Six of Discs, the Chariot, and the Prince of Swords over here. And that's an interesting thing here, uh, considering that you have perhaps some fear of failure or, or not being able to get this off the ground. Karma is actually trying to lead you towards uh, success with this and triumph over whatever um, obstacles you think are there. Uh, I think that actually you're going to be able to do pretty well for yourself if if you allow this to to continue going in the right direction. And if you continue to allow yourself to be inspired, I think this all goes back to, of course, on the bottom of your deck, to the lovers, which is a card of inspiration and, and, and creativity. And and reminds me a little bit of your previous reading. You know, I'm finding as I do these double readings for people that the two readings tend to resonate with each other in more ways than you might realize. And in your case, even though the questions are totally different, I, I see this trend with you of needing to um, to continue to trust your intuition and your imaginative side and to um, to believe that, that, that there is a lot of value in that and that um, even though it might be scary territory for you, is going to be really helpful for you in the long run. Uh, and that the, it is possible for you to to really benefit and come out on top um, by following that uh, that impetus, because I do think that um, I think that you could conceivably get to a point too of feeling a little bit more well. The Prince of Swords is a, is a little is a little odd. Um, because the Prince of Swords, for me, I, I feel like is something that you perhaps need to deal with only because it's resonating with, with this quite a bit in your psychological factors, the Knight of Swords over here. You've got the Knight of Swords here and the Prince of Swords over here. Um, 
And so I, I see those as kind of being connected. The difference between them is that the Prince of Swords is a little more regulated. It's a little more consistent. However, the Prince of Swords doesn't manifest things easily. And that's the one thing that I worry about with the Prince of Swords. However, you seem to have that ability to manifest your ideas down pretty well. So I'm going to say that maybe, you know, the Prince of Swords isn't so much of a problem um, as it is transforming the Knight of Swords, which may represent a more flighty mental approach to this that you um, are trying to train and focus and hone. Um, I think that, you know, you're eventually going to get there. It just is going to take continual practice. Um, that's what I that's what I get out of it. You have s some various references to Saturn here, uh, with the Prince of Swords being being um, being being Aquarius, and you do have some Saturn in the Seven of Discs, a little bit in the Devil over here by your first possible outcome. So. Um, yeah, I mean, you've got some Saturn there. And that, and what that does is that tells me that this is a, a process and is a growing process and um, that the energy in this is slightly on the slow side. Uh, you have uh, in your outcomes, however, uh, some fire, which is a little bit better than your, your psychological perspective. Your psychological perspective on this is, is a little dark. And so I, I don't know that you fully believe in yourself. Uh, and karma, I think, is is more, um, it's a little more balanced. Uh, and there is some more motion here. It just, this just feels good in here. Um, but this particularly lacks fire over here, your psychological outlook on, on this. Um, but your, your, over, uh, your original outcome here is the, I'm going to try to scooch these in here. I can't fit it all. Uh, Knight of Cups, the Emperor, and the Devil. And again, that sort of reinforces this idea of gaining control over uh, this. And the Devil is, of course, the final outcome card of your previous reading as well, which is interesting. Uh, and so it might just represent also, in addition to what we said about it in the previous reading, it can also represent, you know, just a lot of creativity and power of manifestation. I see a lot of independence from you eventually if you continue along this track. I think I see I see a lot of ambition too here and and career success in the form of the uh, of the devil. Um, so and and really this is also aspected by the Knight of Cups, which tells me that you're going to continue to pursue um, whatever your imagination is is uh, giving you here. I think if you continue to pursue that, which it says you're going to, I do think that that's definitely going to help you establish yourself and is going to give you uh, quite a lot of powerful energy there to make manifest uh, what your goals are here. So that's very good. It's very positive. Uh, out over here, we have for your alternative result, um, or in this case, I, I think it's more um, more a, a, in addition to what we just said, you know, I think it says that much of what we said about Saturn in that the Eight of Pentacles is telling me that this is this is going to be a growing uh, process for you, um, that, you know, growth is a long-term thing uh, and that you can't rush growth like you kind of want to do with the Knight of Swords, I feel. Um, growth is going to happen for you naturally as you continue to explore the different aspects of your psyche. And I think that as you continue to bring those things to light and, and deal with, um, you know, I think also with some of your spiritual stuff as well, uh, and continue to follow that which you're passionate about, which we talk about, we talked about with your previous reading, you know, the nine of cups, I feel like is a reference to that, uh, and, and the sun as well. You have a lot of solar energy here, which is really good, um, <clears throat> and and really throughout both of your outcomes because of the emperor too, um, and so I I think this reminds me a lot of your previous reading because of lust that came up in your in your immediate outcome, and and also uh, the priestess in a way, um, 
just because the, the priestess was all about trusting that uh, that guide, and and I think as long as you continue to bring that into light and cultivate that as well, that that can also help you here. Uh, but in general, I think you just need to, that, that I, I think in general, as you develop, you're going to continue to gain confidence. You're going to continue to feel good about what you're doing, good about your success. You're going to get the recognition that you need, I think. And, and it's going to be something that you really value and come to appreciate. Um, I feel like this is, this, this has great potential to really become something, uh, that you've always wanted and, and something that is, um, going to mean a lot to you when it happens. Um, so yeah, I think this is really good stuff. And I think that this is in a really, uh, a really good place. I feel like the energy here is really good. I think really the only thing is that you just need to believe in yourself down here. You know, I think if you can, if you can have a little more faith in yourself and also be willing to be maybe a little bit more patient, uh, with the process and and trust that it's okay to make mistakes with this and and to definitely uh, embrace the growing process of this. I think that that's going to really uh, help keep you going here. Uh, and 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 again, trust that this is intended to to be a good thing for you and is intended to be successful for you financially. So it, it is, um, it isn't a bad idea to continue pursuing this. I don't see it as not working out well for you. I definitely see it as a good step for you based on this reading. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I think this is good stuff. So, uh, I hope, uh, that, that, uh, explains that. All, uh, all well. I, I, um, I hope you. Have, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, and I hope that it was helpful and accurate and all that good stuff. And uh, thank you very much again for purchasing the two readings for me. I really appreciate it, uh, as always. And thank you for being the second person that has, or second person, I believe, that has benefited from the sale price, uh, <laughs> my goofy summer sale. All right, so thank you very much again, and I really wish you the best of luck with everything. Uh, and, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Bye-bye.